Why do you think that residencies like Gentel is important for artists? Well, this is my first residency, and I'm really happy and grateful to be here. Uh, I also live in Brooklyn and have a little office in my house, and just the, the ritual of stepping outside every morning and going across to our little studio and getting a little bit of exposure to nature uh, is really centering and beautiful. And what is your favorite part about Wyoming so far? Uh, I saw some bobcat kittens outside of my studio. It was a mother and two little babies. And so I looked up from writing and uh, there were just two little ones walking behind the mother and being taught how to hunt. I was nervously optimistic. The other patients had speculated about what a rehab for doctors would be like. Quinoa bowls, saunas, morning yoga overlooking a lush forest. I kind of use it as like grad school um, because like I never really had the opportunity to go to grad school so I like to um, network with other art artists and then I also like to just have uninterrupted studio time because I have a seven-year-old and so it's really hard to come by uninterrupted studio time so. I, I'm a textile sculptor what I like to say is I like to take um, fabrics and I like to give them to three-dimensional shape. So I grew up in Wyoming. I've lived in war Orland, Big Piney, Buffalo, Laramie, and Cheyenne. Um, you know, I really, the, the scenery is breathtaking. I love how cold it is here. In Kansas City, it's really warm. <laughs> and so, like, I love how cold and dry it is here. <laughs> They're just pretty uh, altering, like, you get to make new friendships, and um, I, I don't know, it's just something about taking yourself outside of the daily life that is really helpful and gives a new, new spin on the work. Uh, my mom and grandma, and many of my aunts are artists, uh, especially watercolor artists. And they've traveled the world to make realistic, well-executed paintings. And I am here to mess with their legacy a little bit. I grew up in Indiana and I uh, did a lot of horseback riding and so it's been really nice and now I live in Portland so it's been really nice to like see horses again and I don't know I mean it's just so quiet too out where Gentile is and yeah. I mean in the most obvious way they give time to focus and work on your work um, there's also a validation factor which is nice I mean it shows that the work you've been doing is is being like kind of respected and observed by other people I mean I think that's the, the pre-experience, but I think I'm just being around other writers and, and artists um, and being able to kind of share in the artistic community is, is um, almost even better than the first two, so. It was nice to be around people again, after my time alone in the desert and the time on the boat with the same six people for months at a time. That was a sort of loneliness too, as being with the same people in close quarters is, after a long period, essentially being with yourself. I think just like the natural wildlife has been beautiful and just the, the scenery and the mountains are gorgeous. Well, for, for me personally, I live in a tiny little, <laughs> I live in my art studio in Brooklyn, New York, and I have very little space and that affects the kind of work that I can make. And having access to the beautiful studios here and um, that's been like, it's allowed me to make bigger things and messier things and, and also just the quiet we're sort of disconnected from the internet and I feel like my brain is kind of spinning in, in kind of healthy new ways. Um, and then just like hiking around here, this landscape is ridiculous. So it's, it's interesting the way that the landscape has started to work its way into my art.